Okay, let's go ahead and solve this problem, and the problem has to deal with an ellipse. So, um, if you're taking an advanced math course like pre-calculus, this is uh, definitely a problem that you should be able to do, or you will be learning about. And the topic here has to deal with something called conic sections. Anyways, let's go ahead and read the problem, then I'm going to show you the answer, then we're going to walk through step by step on how to do this. And uh, one little kind of disclosure here, I'm not going to give a complete full lesson on this topic uh, because it's just, you know, really too much to kind of get into one video. So if you're not studying this, uh, you might very well be lost. I'm going to suggest you check out my pre-calculus course if you really, really want to learn this stuff. But anyways, let's go ahead and read the problem. And it says, write an equation of the ellipse whose vertices are at negative 3, 0, 3, 0, and co-vertices are at 0, negative 2, and 0, 2. Also find the foci of the ellipse. So... If you're not familiar with these terms, then I'm going to suggest that you can watch a video. Hope, hopefully you stick around so you can learn something. But uh, again, this uh, video is uh, really kind of designed to help those of you that are studying uh, this topic right now. But anyways, I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then we're going to get into how to solve this problem. So here is our ellipse. Of course, it's the oval shape. And you can see our um, vertices, okay, are on the major axis, okay, which it happens to be the x-axis. So here is our vertices, right? We said they were at 3, 0, negative 3, 0. I'm kind of um, squeezing in this if you have a hard time reading this. I'm trying to put a lot of information on this one page. So we have 3, 0, negative 3, 0. And then here our co-vertices are at 0, 2 and 0, negative 2. So this would be the graph of the uh, ellipse. And the equation, I'll show you that in a second, but the foci are inside the ellipse and they're located at these coordinates, negative C0, C0. I'll show you those here in just one second. Here's the actual uh, coordinates for this first foci, F1. That's negative square root of 5, 0. And then our second uh, foci, F2, is uh, square root of 5, 0. And here is the equation of this respective ellipse, okay? So it's uh, x squared over three squared or x squared over nine plus y squared over two squared or uh, y squared over four is equal to one. Okay, so again, uh, you know, if you're like totally lost here, because you're not studying this, well, that's just because you haven't learned it. You can certainly learn this stuff. You're gonna need to really get a lot of instruction and kind of build your uh, way up. So again, if you need help with this, if you're already kind of getting lost uh, and you're like, okay, I'm already overwhelmed, check out my pre-calculus course. I have a complete full lessons and uh, solved problems, just really detailed stuff on conic sections and much, much more. But if you happen to get this right, that's super impressive. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face in A++, a 120% and multiple stars so you can uh, show off to your friends and families that you know a lot about ellipses. Okay, so pretty cool stuff. Let's go ahead and get into the problem. All right, so here is the question again. Uh, we wanna write an equation. Okay, of course we just did that. Uh, of this particular ellipse, and we're told that the vertices are again at negative three zero, three zero, and then these co-vertices are at these coordinates. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to graph the ellipse because the question's not asking for the graph, but I'm throwing in the graph as well because that's important. You should graph the ellipse even with a question like this, so you can kind of visually see what's going on, uh, and we can see also the placement of these things where the vertices are at co-vertices axis. We got minor axes and major axes and uh, uh, focus or foci, okay, which is the plural of two focuses. Uh, or two, or two focuses would be two foci, um, or foci is the plural of a focus. Okay, <laughs> so sorry if you're a little bit confused about that, but anyways, so just based upon that information, okay, we can sketch out uh, the basic ellipse, all right? So the vertices, okay, are always going to be on the major axis, all right? In this case, this is a horizontal um, orientated uh, ellipse. So here's one vertice, 3, 0. Here's another one, negative 3, 0. And then our co-vertices are going to be on the other axis, which would be the minor axis, 0, 2, 0, negative 2. And then simply, we can just kind of sketch an ellipse like so. Now in here, 
are going to be um, our foci, right? So you have one focus here and you have another focus here. So we need to find the equations or the coordinates of those uh, points. But before we do that, we need to get the actual equation to this ellipse, okay? So just like, um, you know, uh, when I was talking about conic sections, there's diff different general equations. You need to know those general equations, and then you have to use the um, information in the specific problem, okay, we would say, uh, you understand the terms, to figure out the actual specific equation to the ellipse. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so here again is our situation, and this is the equation you need to know, okay? So here, is the uh, kind of general equation for an ellipse. It's x squared over a squared pl uh, plus y squared over b squared is equal to one, where a is greater than b, and a uh, is going to always be on the major axis, okay? So in this particular uh, situation, we saw that our coordinates, okay, on our, uh, the bigger coordinates, we're on the x-axis, okay? So a is greater than b, so this is why we're using this form of this equation. Let's go back over here. You can see that three, okay? We have three, zero. This is x is three, and then negative three, zero. The, um, uh, th this length here, three, on the x-axis is greater than this length, two, uh, which is on the y-axis. So therefore, the x-axis is the major axis, okay? So uh, anyways, hopefully you're with me so far. And again, if you um, are just learning this for the first time, this is not, try. I'm not trying to um, substitute what I'm talking about here as a full formal lesson on this stuff, okay? There's just too much going on. Kind of, again, this is kind of practice for those of you who are familiar with these terms. All right, so anyways, uh, we need to write an equation in this form, x squared over a squared, which is pretty easy, right? So we know that this is three zero, this is negative three zero. So a is equal to three. Okay, so we're literally going to put 3 squared right there, and then b is 2, right? So this point is 0, 2, or 0, negative 2, so that point is going to be 2 or 2 squared. So pretty simple stuff. Remember, again, a is greater than b. In other words, a is on the um, uh, major axis, okay? That is the important point to remember because you can have ellipses that go in this shape, all right? Uh, on the y axis is the major axis, but not in this case. All right, so all we have to do now is simply just like plug in this respective uh, information into this equation, this general form. So a squared again is three. So you can just uh, write this as x squared over three squared right there, plus y squared over two squared, which again is b squared. Okay, right here, there's b, that is two. And that's gonna be equal to one. And of course, uh, this form is fine, or this form right here is fine as well. So x squared over nine, three squared is nine. Uh, plus y squared over uh, 2 squared, which is 4 is equal to 1. Now, sometimes you're given um, uh, equations of, you know, of an ellipse, like in this form right here, and then you have to take the square roots of the A and B to figure out what the actual uh, locations are, vertices and covertices are to graph it. So either form is fine. Uh, hopefully, if you're taking a test or a uh, quiz uh, with your particular you know, teacher in your particular class, make sure you understand how your teacher likes your final form, uh, likes the final form of the answer. But basically, they are both equally correct. All right, so this is the equation of the ellipse. So now let's go back to the situation here. We have the equation, and here it is right here. Real quick, if you want my best math instruction, you definitely got to check out my full courses. Again, you can find links to these in the description of this video, but they span basic math to advanced math and everything in between. Okay, so let's keep going with this problem, and don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. So x squared over 3 squared plus y squared over 2 squared is equal to 1. So here is the graph. Now we need to find these points here, the foci, okay? Now, I'm not uh, gonna talk about the definition of an ellipse, okay, why the foci are important, but, um, you know, this is something that you need to know about, all right? We can get into a lot of the definitions you need to understand uh, that are beyond the scope of this video. Again, check out like my pre-calculus course, I get into all this thoroughly, but you need to understand why these points 
are important, but we need to find these points. Okay, that's the focus of this particular uh, problem. So these points, the foci, which, which they're on, always on the major axis, okay, are located at the points negative C0 and C0. Now, of course, we're asking ourselves, well, what is C? Well, let's go ahead and uh, define that right now. All right, so again, the foci always lie on the major axis. So we have a nice, lovely uh, equation here. It looks like the Pythagorean uh, theorem, but uh, C squared, all right, is equal to A squared minus B squared. And what is A and B? Well, we already defined that. That comes from our equation, right? So A and B, remember this is A squared. That's three squared and this is B squared. Uh, so that's where our A and Bs come from. So we have to have the equation of the ellipse in order to find the foci. So we're literally just going to plug in this A and B and solve for C using this uh, formula right here. C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared. So let's go ahead and just plug in all the information. So C squared is going to be equal to 3 squared, right, which is A squared minus B squared, which, of course, is going to be 2 squared. So C squared is 9 minus 4 or 5. So C squared is equal to 5. So when we take the square root of both sides, we get C is equal to plus or minus 5. So remember, right here, these coordinates are negative, uh, negative C0 and positive C0. So we can just literally plug in uh, each of those respective values for C right here. And you'll get uh, this foci or this focus right here, F1, at uh, negative square root of 5, 0. And then the second one right here is square root of 5, 0. And these are our, our foci. Now, again, you need to know why these are important. And it goes to the definition of um, an ellipse. This is a lot of stuff. I mean, um, conic sections, we're only talking about, you know, an ellipse. We got parabolas. You have um, hyperbolas. You have circles. And you got uh, translations of all these different things. It's pretty heavy-duty stuff. I mean, nothing that you can't learn. But definitely, if you're at this level of mathematics, first of all, that's pretty awesome that you're at this level. But uh, two, you know, even for really you know good students or you know, strong math students, it's this can get kind of challenging for for everybody. Okay, but the key here is to really truly understand all the concepts and do a a, a vast um, uh, array of problems. Just don't do basic problems. Do more challenging problems if you truly want to be ready for all your exams, final exams, etc., etc. All right. So hopefully this little video helps you out. If that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.